The walking Cheetos toupee needs some Astro Glide. I'm the librarian and I came to read. And I say that because the way that his wig constantly slides on and off, in and out of my fucking timeline, it, it's just abrasive. It could really use some lube, and I didn't even want to give him one that makes sense. I gave him a cheap ass one, some Astro Glide. If we could put some Astro Glide on that fucking toupee, ain't no telling how much easier it would be to handle him coming off and on my timeline like fucking clockwork. This video is gonna be majorly political because there's a lot of bullshit going on politically, so we're gonna, let's just break it on, break it on down. But before I get into that, I wanted to let you guys know that bitchfortheculturepodcast.com is where it's at. So y'all already know that every fucking Wednesday we release some shit. So I want y'all to get information because this week's episode I know will be lit and you guys can always listen to last week's episode. iTunes, SoundCloud, Google Play is everywhere. Before we talk about Miss Politics, I wanted to touch on Drake after Pusha T, and I know this happened a couple days ago, but after Pusha T drilled his ass in, after he took um, a cute ass Jamaican flip flop and slapped it across his motherfucking face like you forgot to take the meat out the fucking fridge, after he took his chancla you just, and, and just slapped Drake ass with it, bitch. Drake ass went into hiding. I didn't hear, we didn't hear a peep from his ass. No, I mean, he gave us what? A notes explainer? He gave us like a, a notes press release, something that he wrote off the notes app and sat his ass down. No type of diss track. Everybody talking about, oh, he got, he, he come back with it. No, he didn't. He understood, apparently, he understood that he lost that battle and he said, you know what? I know how to get these hoes back. I know what I need to do. Girl, he dropped that Degrassi reunion on our asses and I was like oh my god oh my god it was cool to see all those fucking people all the cast and everything I'm glad they doing okay they seem to be doing okay it was really funny to me that after he got body he said you know what bitch I'm taking my ass back to fucking Degrassi girl I'll be rolling around in that chair before you hoes will have me strung up without a fucking career okay and yes I already know that Beyonce took her fucking fist and decided to just you know molly walk my ass since I was talking all that shit uh, she said, okay, I got, I got something for you. I got something for you. She dropped that motherfucking album with her ancient ass husband. And, and sadly, I am here for it. I, just, I can't lie. I cannot lie, bitch. Sadly, I'm here for it, bitch. I'm going to be twerk. Bitch, I will. Oh, I'm going to be twerking. Bitch, I'm going to be twerking my motherfucking ass in the goddamn club, bitch. When friends come on, bitch. I'm going to be. Bitch, I'm. Bitch, I'm gonna be throwing that shit back, bitch. Now, if you have not taken your ass to watch my fucking video uh, about this shit, you need to go on over, because there I talk about it a little bit more in depth. We'll definitely be getting more into it on the podcast, so that's where we really get into it. So just stay tuned for that. But I just wanted to let y'all know that Beyonce decided to lean back and just, I don't know, she just, with the strength of the ancestors, punched me in my motherfucking face. And I couldn't do nothing but say thank you. Yes, man. Let's talk about the stupidest shit I've ever seen in my goddamn life. Let's just get it out the way because it don't make no goddamn sense. Um, apparently the Space Force is real. And I'm going to quote Donald Trump. We must have American dominance in space. Very importantly, I am hereby directing the Department of Defense and Pentagon to immediately begin the processes necessary to establish a space force as the sixth branch of the armed forces. So I just, <laughs> we all know this man is delusional. We all know that he lies every moment, every chance that he, he fucking takes, every breath that comes out of that gaping asshole of a mouth, he's going to lie to us, right? So I thought every time that he talked about that dumbass space force shit, I thought he was just, you know, bullshitting as usual. But apparently he's been hooking up with the Department of, of Defense and the goddamn Pentagon to try and make this shit a reality. Now, usually when you get some fucking armed forces or some shit, there's some shit to protect. Usually if you need if you need guns and holes, if you need weapons up in that bitch, there's something there to protect or there's something that we need to protect ourselves from. Anything that's coming from outer space, since we won't be able to protect ourselves from it at all. I'm talking about gamma ray bursts. Jesus, I, I'm such a goddamn nerd. Um, gamma ray bursts, black holes, when you have, when you talk about solar flares and shit like that, solar flares knock out power, solar flares fuck up radios, they, solar flares can do some bad ass damage, and it's only because of the magnetic field around us, you know, that's the thing that's protecting us from all these crazy ass particles, right? But at the same time, we as humans are completely unprepared, our infrastructure is not prepared for anything like that, so what Trump should, could have done was to encourage holes and encourage the industries around, especially like the power industries, to make 
make sure that we can withstand some type of fucking solar flare burst, bitch, fucking with our, you know, electrical grid. But of course, priorities don't make sense in this fucking White House. Because if you ask some of these uh, professionals, they say that we are completely unprepared. If the sun wants to pop off, because it has before, we just have, did not happen to be in the path of some of the big ones. Um, if the sun wanted to pop off, we'd be fucked. That's what they said. You can ask the professionals around. If the sun really wanted to pop off, we'd be fucked. So instead of sitting our asses down and trying to figure out how to improve our fucking infrastructure when it comes to withstanding solar flares, um, gamma ray bursts, we're just gonna die. Like, there's nothing we can... Black holes, we're just gonna die. Like, there's nothing that we can do to prevent that shit. But, like, instead of improving our infrastructure, he wants to fucking... What does he want to do? Send holes to space? Fucking F-22s can't go no fucking space. You bitches tried to build F-35s, ho. You fucking bitches tried to build F-35s. That was the biggest waste of goddamn money in the fucking universe. And you gonna talk about going to goddamn space? You hoes ain't even ready for that shit. What are you, what the fuck are you talking about? What weapons are you gonna be firing in space? Who the fuck you gonna be fighting in space? Stupid bitches. Now, if you're someone who's realistic, I would say probably in like four generations, we'd probably need a space force because knowing the greed of humans, we would start mining asteroids if we had the capability to do so. You know, we'd start mining asteroids and, you know, bringing that shit back and trying to sell the shit and trying to monopolize the shit. And of course, we're gonna be fighting each other over fucking space too. But we are not anywhere close to that shit right now. I mean, you see that tired ass International Space Station girl? We ain't no star. Star Wars, we ain't no fucking Star Trek built ass shaker. Sit your ass. I mean, he just loves to grandstand. He loves to make big statements. He, he loves to do a lot of dumbass distraction to get you away from the real, to get you to look away from the real issues that are going on. But we're not looking away this time, bitch. Don't you have any empathy? Don't you have, let me let you watch it. Don't you have any empathy? Jill, go ahead. Come on, Sarah, you're a parent. Don't you have any empathy for what these people are going through? Jill. They have less than Brian. you do. Go ahead, Sarah. Jill. Honestly, answer the question. It's a serious question. These people have nothing. They come to the border with nothing. And you throw children in cages. You're a parent. You're a of young children. Girl, we're catching up to the bullshit. We see what the fuck you hoes are trying to do. Sarah Huckleberry Finn-ass Sanders is up there just, you know, stone cold as ever in the face of kids just being snatched the fuck up. And I'm going to talk about it. Snatched the fuck away from their goddamn parents. Um, she's just up there, oh girl, well, the president has made it very clear that you are going to look back, Sarah Huckleberry Finn-ass Sanders. You're going to look back and you're gonna see yourself in these fucking history books and these textbooks and they're gonna drag the ever living dog shit out of your ass and they're going to describe how you were so inhumane in the face of humanitarian crises you're going to be plastered all over every type of political comic you're going to be plastered and it is all your fault for instead of hanging this shit up right now instead of wandering toward the side of humanity you continue to fuck yourself and try to fuck us over, okay? But I want you to live with the fact that you will go down in history as one of the most cinder block built bitches, the one of the most plywood plank built dad bitch in the motherfucking face. You're gonna go down along with the rest of that White House as such a fucking disgrace and you'll have to live with that for the rest of your mediocre, pathetic, depressing, vomit inducing ass life. I want you to understand that. Take a look, take a look, because this is US government video, okay? So the Border Patrol is, you know, has released this video of the detention facility that is in Texas, and it's just, it is so gross to see this shit. Now, I don't want to hear none of this fucking bullshit from anybody in America talking about, oh, this is my country? Oh my god, this is my country? How could this be my country? Children, the children! Nigger children been suffering for fucking generations. You hoes don't say shit about them, okay? Yo, I mean, we've been blowing children up forever. Amer Americans, a, a lot of Americans, we are so fucking blind to this bullshit, the barbaric colonization, the destabilization that we do to all the fucking country. It's so disrespectful to see y'all just, oh my god, how could, it's the children, I, we never do this, and this is not America, this is exactly who America is. And for y'all to be acting like y'all just, oh, I don't know, it just came out of nowhere, girl, that is fucking, that is a slap in the face to every person, as, I mean, di in different countries and in this one, who have suffered under the regime that is this fucking white supremacist, capitalist, bullshit ass American gang.
okay? But yeah, that old geezer built bitch, he couldn't get his wall built. He could not get that wall built. We knew that shit wasn't gonna happen. We knew Mexico wasn't gonna pay for it. So instead, you know, since he couldn't get that wall built, he decided to go with deterrence tactics, I guess. Um, and rip children from their fucking families. Now, in many cases, and we can talk about the legality and shit like that. I think all that shit is bullshit. We need to find a better way to deal with this shit, especially not when you hoes came over here illegally, set up a fucking uh, country of your own, enslaved a whole bunch of hoes, and killed a bunch of bitches to, you know, be at the top, and then y'all called it America. Uh, we need to rethink that shit. But I mean, even past that, in a lot of these cases, these people are seeking asylum, and that, sh that shit is completely legal. So for y'all then to look at these people and they got their face these families and take their kids from them uh, I mean I had I heard a story of one guy who got his kids taken from him or his kid taken from him and he ended up killing himself you know that like how like how can you look into their eyes how can like and I'm glad that I mean y'all have been bullshit this whole time everybody's bullshit Republicans Democrats everybody's bullshit but I'm glad that there have been some major Republicans who have, you know, said, hey, bitch, this shit is stupid. Like, we need to stop this, but it is inhumane. We need to stop this shit. I'm glad that Democrats and some Republicans are joining up to, to, to try and see if they can take care of the situation. It's so disheartening. It's so depressing every time. I, it's so hard sometimes to open up Twitter, open up fucking Facebook to see all these people suffering and the, the kids behind these fucking cages. And the Border Patrol came out here, made a statement, said we are uncomfortable with the word cages, um, even though technically that's what they are. What the fuck are you bitches? I hate bitches who are so concerned about words and not actions. Bitches are so scared to get their feelings hurt, not realizing whose fucking neck they fucking standing on. I don't give a fuck about hurting you bitches' feelings. I'm trying to get some shit done, bitch. This is life or death. Talking about, uh, you know, we have a problem with the word cages. That's what the fuck they are. And I guarantee if someone came in there and took some of y'all kids and put them in goddamn cages, it would be a, in a different, it would be a whole different story. Y'all hoes came over here illegally. Y'all hoes came over here illegally, okay? So if we took y'all kids and put them in cages, it would be a whole new world. Y'all would suddenly have a new fantastic point of view. You surely fucking would. I mean, we had Trump saluting Kim Jong-un saying that he wants people to act like how Kim's people act uh, toward him and, you know, respect him or whatever. It's just like, girl, Kim has built a fucking regime off of death and propaganda, all this shit. I, it is not cute to hear a United States president talk like that. It's not cute to hear somebody, I mean, he coddles to dictators, alienated our allies, doesn't seem to like democracy that much, and, and continues to suck the dick of these trash ass dictators. Surrounded by criminals, Paul Manafort, who loved to chant, lock her up, lock her up. He was sent to jail over witness tampering, so it's just, Trump is surrounded by a bunch of fools, sur surrounded by a bunch of idiots who think that they can continue to abuse their power. And I can honestly understand why they probably thought that they could just continue to do what the fuck they don't, because they've been doing it. They, you know, they're getting away with it. But I mean, the bill comes due eventually. I mean, always, it always does this. And when you least expect it to, the girl says, pay up. That's how, that's how life fucks you up. And I want to show you this footage from Mike Pence ass, speaking in Columbus. Very weak for America. You know, the truth is, health care that they deserve. Mike Pence has kind of taken a quiet approach. We haven't really heard him speak a lot. We haven't heard him make any fucking statements like that. Uh, maybe he thinks he can sneak away from all this bullshit that's going on uh, without his name being attached to anything. But the girls are catching that teeth. I always make sure to point out, like, Mike Pence says, you real quiet. Where are you, Seth? What's going on, Seth? But they're finding your ass. They're getting your ass together, girl. They're getting that ass together. Mike Pence really does look like the stone that the builder rejected. And that's all I'll say on that with his dusty, you know, concrete shape ass fucking chin. That's all I'll say on his ass. I'll end on this. There have been some people in my comment section, not a whole lot, but there have been some people who love to say, oh my God, Adrian, you be going so hard for everybody. You be going so hard for, you know, especially immigrants and stuff. Like, what the fuck? You know, black people are so disadvantaged in this country. We need to take care of ourselves first. Girl, that's not how none of this shit works. We need as much power, as much help. We need to help as many people as we can, as we can and we need to join up with as many people as we can. I'm not gonna look and see her suffering or him suffering and be like, oh, well, girl, that's just, girl, I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about it. Like, what are you talking about? And if you, if they coming for them, if they separating their families, Bitch, who you think is next? <laughs> Have a good goddamn evening.